Thanks for watching my video. About a year ago, I made two videos on how to introduce PNG files into your vehicle's folder and essentially add stickers to your car. It's just a PNG file, drag drop, then you just save and it's there. And I always wondered when BeamMG would come along and add some sort of a feature to BeamMG to allow users to do that. Well, they have just recently. And it's done through the the garage. So launch BeamMG and just click on garage. And from here you can load any vehicle you want. We'll do something. Um, we're going to do the, where's it at? Oh, this one. And the only reason I picked this is because I have this vehicle folder open on the next screen. And I'm going to drag that over here. And we're going to open this real quick. And I just wanted to show you that inside the vehicle folders, look, they added a dynamic decal fold, uh, folder. And this is where everything you do here goes to that folder. And inside there, there's just two JSON files. You can open them up and read and learn a little bit about what's going on in there. It's pretty cool because it tells you everything that it's doing as you're making changes. And this is the other one. And this is just the information. So I wanted to show you that. So back here, let's pause that. The only thing you can mess with parts, tune, paint, my car, all that stuff, photo. The only thing I'm interested in for this tutorial is decal. So we're going to click on decal. This is a beta version. It's just telling you it's buggy and it's not, everything's not working yet. Create new. And I don't know why it takes away from the default skin like that, but that's okay. I'm sure someplace in here you can go back and choose that skin if you wanted to. But anyways, let's go to add layer, click on decal come up here to this circle and these are all of the shapes default by BMMG. You can see there's the BMMG logo and I think apply multiple. There was some way I clicked on it on this side and it went to the other side and put one here. I think that was during the uh, and the other example I'm about to give in the world editor. But anyways these are all of the ones put in by BMMG. And if you click on other, these are files that I've added. And I'll show you how to do that at the end of this video. So for this side, we're going to put the shark's mouth. And on the other side, I'm going to put flames. Now, one thing I've noticed here is once you place this, you cannot move it. You can scale it bigger, taller, shorter, and you can stretch it in length but you cannot come back and click on it and move it up and down and find. So wherever you put it, you're kind of stuck. And I'm sure, again, that's just for the, the beta version. Eventually, I sh I'm sure that's probably going to change. So it's a little miss and hit. So we're going to place it there. Now to edit it, you can come over here and click on these, but you can see nothing happens. You have to go back and select that skin somehow over here. To do that, you just click back, back, and then select that skin over here which is right there then come over here and click edit and then come over here and now you can modify it and we're going to skew that forward make it tilt forward a little bit there we go kind of like that so we'll leave that like that that looks pretty good and like i said i wish you could come in here and click on it and drag it up down left right kind of free move but you can't not yet but I'm sure you will eventually. So let's go to the other side here. We're going to put flames over here. So let's hit back, add layer, decal, click on that, go to other, and let's get our flames. And we're going to put those right there and then stretch them to fit. So again, you can't modify it. So back, back, select the flames, Select edit and now you can modify it. 
Let's make that a little bit taller, a little bit longer. That looks really cool. So I wish I could grab it and just pull it back. Because when you're stretching it, it's moving the front and the back. I wish maybe the front would stay stationary and just the back would move. But anyways, that's what we got to work with for now. So let's put the little alien guy on the hood. So back, back, add a new layer, decal. Let's click on that. Go to other. Let's click on there's a picture of spider-man we'll we'll put the alien on the on the hood kind of put him right there and so now to save it now when I export this I have had some errors or not errors but problems with the decals not being on the vehicles so I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong during the export process I've only done this like once I think two times now so let's export this skin and give it a name. So I have to give it a unique name, something I will call it summer skin. And this, what you type in here is what's going to show up in the parts menu. Like if you're going to a car and you go into vehicle configure and you go to skin or paint job and you drop down menu, summer skin is what's going to appear in that menu. So we're going to export that. Click exit. That's the file name. That's the JSON file that I showed you earlier. That's what will appear there. And click Save. And then if you hit Test, it's going to drive the vehicle off here and go to Grid Map V2. Here we are in Grid Map V2, and you can see the skin this time did not work. But it's okay. Like I said, you can go into the vehicle configuration and just select the paint job called Summer Skin. So press escape, vehicle config, and right here you can see it's on dynamic textures. Let's go down to summer skin, and there's summer skin. And it should put everything on there. And there you go. What a cool, easy, simple way to make your own car. You can edit your cars in every category, make you a car based on your name and your likes and dislikes. Uh, as a matter of fact, if we even go here to the Solide Lansdale, and I like to call it the landslide, and pick another van, I do believe, replace, I do believe you can go into vehicle config, go to paint design, and choose summer skin. Yeah, so you can do that for any vehicle. Pretty cool. Now, there's another way of doing this, which is very beta, very buggy, doesn't have a lot of fe features and options. So let's choose another vehicle. Um, let's do the Braco Baston. Let's do uh, something that stuff will show up good on. All right, so now we're going to press F11. Let's press Shift-C so we get away from the vehicle. This menu right here is everything that I showed you in the garage. It's all the same stuff. You can see all BMMG stuff there, my stuff's there. So what you want to do is go to Decal Properties, I believe. Yes, Decal Properties, because there's a circle there and there's a circle there. And everything that's up here, you can drag and drop into that circle and it will appear on the car. So let's put, let's start with blaster. We'll put blaster there. And you can see it shows up. And to place it, you just press F. But before we do that, if you come over here and look at mirror, and let's go to the hood to give you an example for what mirror does. Mirror is really cool. And if you flip mirror, it turns the one on the other side as if you're looking in a mirror. So if you want to place a decal on one side of the car, like right here, and you go to the other side, oh, F, there, press F. You go to the other side, it should be there correctly. Yay, it did it. If you hit mirrored, 
and place blaster. Let's do something else. Clockwise. And we'll place that here with flipped mirror decal and press F and go to the other side. It's going to be backwards. And it is backwards. So let's do a, um, let's get those flames again. Drag and drop those. And let's put those flames on this side of this car. Oh, and here's something very important about doing it this way. You cannot edit. Well, yes, you can. I found out now you can, but the best thing to do is unlock scale. And this represents the length. It will stretch it left to right. I'm not sure what this one does. And this is height. So we want to make this flame a little bit longer. Like that. Maybe even longer. Make it the whole length of the side of the car. Maybe even a little bit. This one is the height. There you go. As you can see, it's getting hot. And let's go long. I want it to go all the way to the back of the car. Kind of like that. Even longer than that. And a little bit taller. I want the whole car filled in on the side. There we go. That looks really cool. Now, it do, we don't want mirrored. We just want to. So we're going to press F. Get right about there. And press F. Now we go to the other side of the car. Hey, look what it did. Can we undo this? Color, texture, reset. No, we cannot redo it. Interesting. But if we go here and then go on the hood, we should be able to make some really interesting tribal patterns with that if it mirrors. Yes, very cool. Look at that. Very nice. That is cool. F. And we'll go to the roof. What else do we got in here that we can use? The alien. I think I got a picture of Spider-Man. I in uploaded a PNG file just to see what it would look like. There it is. Let's take that. Drag him down there. It's pretty cool. That looks awesome. F. That is awesome. I like that better. <clears throat> so anyways, now, like I said, I do not... Let, let me show you one more thing here. Let's, let's put the alien on the roof because I want to show you about... Let's see. Let's go to the alien, 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 alien. I think he's all the way at the top. Let's get rid of that and that. You see how out of shape he is? I think, well, let's just do this. Let's bring him back down this way. And let's just press F. So now we got the alien. Now, how would you go back and edit each one of these items? Let's see if we can put something. Oh, let's just hit reset here, and it will get rid of the alien. So when I touch the car, it's a box. But let's say you wanted to go to each one of these skins and edit it somehow. I do believe you can do that. Oh, right here. Right here here that is the alien so you could go to the alien and it pops up over here and then you can make modifications to the alien I'm not sure what all of this stuff does yet but some of it is self-explanatory but you can start dragging things around and it will start to modify you can use the gradient tool up here you can see it's coming in from a goldish color so the top of the aliens the radius of his head would glow like there was light coming from the top if you activate that and if you click up here you can change the color we'll make it green blue purple so you can get different gradients from different angles which is pretty cool 
alpha channel multiple I'm not sure what all this stuff means but alpha mask blend a lot of neat stuff in here I'm sure in time a lot of people out there are gonna get very good at modifying these vehicles I'm not sure about how you save it save the skin this is all save level so there's got to be a feature in here somewhere to oh load and save save as so there is a way to save it but anyways let's see how that works out make sure everything so let me show you um, the file location for everything because you're gonna have to be able to put your own PNG artwork into a file location and it is kind of uh, deep I guess you could call it to get to see if I can remember it without looking at my notes program 86 steam steam apps common beam mg and then game engine zip art dynamic decals textures and then that's it and this is where you would get you can see the teeth are right there and spider-man's right there and stuff like that this is where you would go and get your PNGs edit them in Adobe Photoshop and um, drag and drop them over here